Welcome to Manila, everyone. Welcome to the Philippines, my hometown. We are currently in Makati City. Um, I have been here for about a week now. I am in, staying in Legaspi Village. If you know, you know. I chose this area specifically because I wanted to be close to everything and be able to walk to the places that I want and be also be close to a park. You know, I think that's like my only ask when I'm in the city is... Yes, the malls are here. Yes, the restaurants are here. But I need a place of refuge, which is usually a park. But you see, the plan kind of backfired on me because I didn't remember it being this hot before. Maybe that's only because I came from Korea and it is freezing in Korea right now. So I'm not exactly acclimating to this weather. I was planning on grabbing myself Filipino breakfast, walking to this restaurant, but even when I'm wearing sleeveless, I am still sweating so much. And also wearing sleeveless here in the Philippines kind of makes me a little bit, you know, uncomfortable because everybody just stares at you like you're an alien. And also like half of my tits are out. So I guess that's the reason why. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to talk to you guys and sounds of the city i don't know if you heard that but i just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about a very interesting experience that i have which is coming home to the philippines after being a away from a really long time that is a very simplified version of what i'm about to say but i don't really want to go into detail because i feel like i have something planned for the video where i will just kind of narrate everything all of my feelings it's kind of hard to impromptu speak about it i'm hearing someone outside and it's freaking me out wait a second okay so i was saying since most of my friends are here i find myself packing my schedule with a lot of dinner dates a lot of you know seeing family here and there so every single day i have something planned and hard to process all of your emotions and also navigate through everyone's energy because I'm so used to being by myself. I feel like being home in the Philippines is very overwhelming for me because there is always so much happening. It does take a while for me to sort through and make sense of what I'm feeling. It doesn't make sense for some people. Like, why do you have to feel feelings? You're just seeing family, you're just seeing friends, but, oh. We are currently in Legaspi Village. Show them, show them the street. <laughs> so I think this vintage store that we're going to is called It's Vintage Vintage, and it's a curated vintage store. It's very close to our Airbnb, so I'm super excited to check it out. I think we're here. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so cute.
are heading to my uncle's farm. We just stopped by to get some food and look at this wonderful view. We're in like the rural area of the Philippines. I think we are in Batangas and I am so excited to just be away from all the traffic and just enjoy nature. This view is amazing. I can't stop looking at it. And look at the roads. It's like no cars you're surrounded by lots of greens we stopped by at this place called lomi house it's like a little shack and lomi is kind of like a filipino chinese food it's noodle it's a bowl of noodles but i'll show you how it looks like later when i eat it Good morning everyone i just wanted to show you guys this beautiful backyard there is the mount patulao which is a mountain here in batangas and it is famous for hiking and camping i believe yesterday i mentioned stopping over for lomi because lomi is a very famous dish here in batangas i think a lot of people actually go here to to eat that um, I wasn't able to show you how it really looks like because I ended up not eating it. I ended up eating something else. But if you are ever in Matangas, you need to try and seek out this dish. It's really good. Today is actually Christmas Eve day and we are going to be on our way back to the city. And then we're going to pass through some, it's called Pasalubong shops like shops that sell delicacies that you pass by on your way home to the city someone's watching me <laughs> it's always so awkward when i see someone like in the distance and i can tell that they're kind of spooked out by what i'm doing it's a beautiful day today and it is a very typical philippine weather very windy nice warm sun beautiful greens around me this is a quintessential philippine scene remember the last time I don't remember the last clip you saw but today I have finally secured a time where I am just by myself being in the Philippines and coming back home it's so hard to have that because one I'm either staying with my family or two I am in an Airbnb with my husband and I usually bring my brother and his family with me because I want them with me so you know, it's a very rare moment. 
this situation. This is a very rare occurrence that I'm alone. So I am gonna be picking up my laundry, run a few errands, grab some coffee. Ooh, actually I should get, mm, should I? I think I will. I'm gonna go back to the house and grab a book. Got my book. This is a book I recently acquired, recently meaning yesterday I went to Fully Booked in the fort because I find that that is the only bookstore that actually has a good selection of books. This is the The Woman Destroyed by Simone de Beauvoir. Beauvoir. I don't know, I'm not French. And I'm excited to read it. I'm just gonna have like an hour to myself, read some books. Why is it so hot? Read my book, have a good hand brew. This coffee shop that I go to is the best one in this area. If you are from the Philippines and you're watching this video, you would know what Nuvali is and where it is. It is an up and coming city. It's a city? Yeah. Just looking forward to the developments, but at the same time, like I know this place as a very quiet place away from the city. Uh, actually, I'm not that excited to see a lot of traffic um, as many people move out of the city, then that means that there's gonna be more people here. And I don't know how I feel about that, but it's not up to me. It's not all about me. I'm gonna go start driving now. I'm just gonna reapply my lip glow oil. Love this. It's sold out here everywhere. It's insane. I'm sure it's sold out everywhere because of TikTok. It's the 004. I've mentioned this in my other vlog. It's a weird way of applying lip gloss. I just love the applicator, like the sensation. Sometimes I don't even really care to reapply. I just keep putting because the sponge, the applicator is so fun to use. Ciao, see you at the laundry shop. I just got my laundry. This is the reality of being away from home. You gotta do laundry, honey. Time to go. because he's on my book. I think he just wants some love. And I'm probably gonna pass by the grocery store and grab him some food and maybe buy him a food bowl. Cause I noticed that they feed him out here but they don't give him water. It is so hot in the Philippines, honey. Now I don't know if I should go to the pet store to buy the cat the food bowl and some food or I kind of want to just go to the grocery store here but I just don't have the faith that they will have pet stuff. Oh my god I'm sweating. We are gonna call Rustad's and see what they say because if they have it, perfect. I wouldn't have to drive all the way to Navali. I think I have to go there. We are in Nivali. We are planning on getting food and a food bowl for the cat that I saw earlier. I have a cameraman now, so I don't have to do this all by myself. Um, but where is the pet store? Okay, let's go there. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, let's look for cat stuff. What should we do? Ate may tanong ako. Bibila, bibila ko ng ano, ng food kasi para sa mga stray cat. Ano kaya yung pwedeng like general nutrition food? Okay, I think I'll just get the biggest bag you have. Like maybe this one na lang. The fish. Yeah, yung fish na lang. And then I'm just gonna get food bowls. I love how you're just there, Stan. Like. <laughs> We got it. Food secured. And the food bowl. But first we gotta eat. Let's get salad stock. Let's go. We're 
we're gonna head to the cat now and give him all of his cookies. Do you notice that I have a YouTube voice? Let's go! <laughs> sometimes it goes away, but sometimes it's just, it's here to stay, honey, it's here to stay. Okay, we're gonna go to the cat now. And I hope this goes really well, that they don't feel like they don't have space for this big ass bag in their stores. This is the first time since I got home from the Philippines that I have quiet space because I have been jumping from one air era being more from one Airbnb to another and then staying at my parents' place. There's always people there. And that's just how it is because you haven't seen these people in a really long time, which I understand, but having all of this quiet right now is all I ever wanted like two weeks in. But now that I have it, it feels weird. <laughs> like I'm so anxious, I feel restless. I only had five hours of sleep, so I should really be sleeping right now. And I think that I am sleepy, but I'm unable to do that. Coming home during the holidays, like I remember when I got here, I arrived in Naia, which is the airport here in Manila. There were so many people it almost felt like there's a music festival. I remember when I got out of the airport walking towards the parking lot because my mom picked me up. As I glanced on my left, because it was like kind of just super overwhelmed, I saw this foreigner sitting on the ground, back against the wall, completely dazed, probably super like shocked. The jungle of mess this airport is. I was shocked too, shit, I I'm from here and I have never seen anything like that before. So I guess that's how it is when you come home during the holidays, everybody else is going home. I am ready to go back home to where I live right now, which is in Korea, and do my routine and be alone 90% of the time. You can count on Naia departure gates to be very somber. You see families bidding their last goodbyes and kids holding on to their loved ones before they step into the airport. A lot of Filipinos leave their country not just to enjoy life and be liberated. Most of them are displaced in cities that have more to offer economically. And having lived in two other countries, staying in the Philippines for a month conjured a sober reflection. When you have a diverse frame of reference, you are able to create distinctions, judge or observe with more knowledge. And I was able to do that. I saw the negative and positive aspects of the city I grew up in, and now I appreciate it in a different way. This is the third time I'm leaving for someplace else. Third time I'm experiencing saying goodbye to loved ones. And each time it somehow does not get easier. Three times is not much compared to other people, but this is unlike most things where practice makes perfect. Leaving your people behind as time goes by is a hole that gets deeper each time it happens. Nobody gets used to saying goodbye. And so when my plane moved forward to ascend, a tear came out. As we peeled away from the ground, a wave of sadness overcame me. I saw the stencil traffic devolve into a solid string of light and buildings from towering marvels to irrelevancy. But the sadness remained and did not tame. Tears fell and memories came flashing. I, once again, have left this place, but this place will never leave me. And for that, I am grateful. In the end, getting to my destination and seeing the life I have built away from home is a reminder of my strength the beauty of my independence, that I am courageous and capable of great things, greater than I have ever thought possible.